Tilapia is a popular freshwater fish here in the Philippines. Its scientific name is Areochromus nilaticus and is not native here in our country. They are mostly found inhabiting shallow streams, ponds, rivers, and lakes, but they are mostly cultivated in aquaculture for consumption. But today, we are going to examine the tilapia in terms of its levels of organization. The lowest level of organization that we can visibly see in tilapia is its cells. Specifically its sex cells. In female tilapias, egg cells can be seen in the ovaries, while in male tilapias, sperm cells are present. In this picture by biophils, matured eggs are very evident in the naked eye. In multicellular organisms, cells can specialize and form into a tissue. In tilapia, tissues that are visibly present are the muscle tissues. These tissues are composed of striated muscles. In cuisine, this is commonly known as the fillet. Next in the levels of organization is the organ. An organ is a group of different kinds of tissues working together to perform a specific function. In the external anatomy of tilapia, the organs present are its sensory organs, mouth, nostrils, and eyes, and operculum, its gill cover. Meanwhile, scales protect the fish's skin. Its fins are also organs, namely the dorsal fins, pectoral fins, pelvic fins, anal fin, and caudal fin. There's also the lateral line, a special type of organ that helps the fish's sense vibrations in the water. In the internal anatomy of tilapia, some of the readily seen organs are gill, that is used for breathing, heart, liver, intestines, and cloaca, an opening for digestive, urinary wastes and used for reproduction. If we are to examine further, the stomach, spleen, swim bladder, the organ that regulates the buoyancy of the fish. And gonads like the testis can also be found. Other organs that are present in tilapias are the following pharynx, esophagus, spines, backbone, kidneys, ureter, and urinary bladder that opens up in the cloaca. A group of organs is called an organ system that together performs a function for the body. In tilapia, one of its organ systems is the integumentary system, or commonly called the skin. It is composed of two layers, the epidermis, which is the outer layer, and the dermis, which is the inner layer. The second organ system is the skeletal system. It supports the soft tissues and organs of the fish. It also protects the organs and gives the fish its shape. The backbone is part of the skeletal system and is made up of vertebrae. Next is the muscular system that consists of muscles. These are tissues that contract to shorten and relax to lengthen. The tilabia moves by contracting and relaxing these muscles. Meanwhile, the respiratory system is the main site for gas exchange. Gills are the main respiratory organs of fishes. Other accessory organs include the operculum, gill arch, and gill rakers that filter food from the water as the water passes out to the gills. The fifth organ system present is the circulatory system. This system brings nutrients to cells and carries waste away from the cells. The two-chambered heart is the main circulatory organ of tilapia. And lastly, the digestive and excretory system is made up of structures and organs that bring food to the body, break down food, and excrete wastes. Together, these organ systems interact and enable the tilapia to function as an organism. As a population, tilapias contribute to the ecosphere mostly as an intermediate in the food chain. They are responsible for the circulation of nutrient metabolites, on which primary production depends, and also support the ecosystem by feeding the piscivores, carnivorous animals that primarily eat fish.